Uh, but we have to kind of start thinking about summer yeah. and the fact mm -hmm. that the humidity is going to build in this week. Mm -hmm. We haven't really had to deal with temperatures in the upper 80s mm -hmm. with that humidity factor and the fact that if you're going to be outside for extended amounts of time, mm -hmm. we're going to have to start really hydrating yeah. and using that sunscreen. Don't be a dope like Carlos <laughs> is what she's saying. <laughs> we're getting in the mindset <laughs> of summer. That's that's just the warning that I'm going to put out there for this week as we transition out of some very early spring like weather into almost peak summer weather later on today. Or this week, I should say. We've got this dome of high pressure that's been building in across the southeastern part of the country, and that's really keeping our weather pattern very quiet. Also, what it's doing is changing up our wind direction, and we're really going to notice that today. Yesterday's high was 70. It was a pretty seasonal average day, exactly what we would expect for this time of year. But as the wind direction gets influenced by this dome of high pressure to our south, that's going to start to pump in this big warm air mass that's to our southwest, and that's going to be the game changer starting today as temperatures rebound back near 80. It is a little bit of a cool start, though. In the meantime, we've had a few clouds out there, but the temperature has really plummeted during the overnight 54 degrees. But notice the wind direction already changing. We had a more of a north northeasterly breeze yesterday. That is now a southeast wind. And that's going to be the difference in warming things up for us later today. So out of the bus stops this morning, we're going to hold steady here in the low to mid 50s. So I would call this jacket worthy weather for the kids early on today. Once the sun comes up around 636, we will see plenty of it through the eight o'clock hour around 55 degrees. And then eventually we're back up near 80 77 for a high in Muncie. We've got 80 one over in Greencastle and we're into the lower 80s across the southern half of the state. So these numbers today about 10 degrees above normal. Great day to get the grill fired up and celebrate some of that warmer air. 78 degrees through 7 p.m. and even through 8 o'clock the sun doesn't set until 847 today. Temperatures will still be in the 70s even after the sun goes down. So we'll start the day tomorrow a little bit more mild, 60 or get into our early Tuesday, and then already noticing that warming trend tomorrow as we're back to 84 for a high tomorrow afternoon here in Indy. We've even got some mid to upper 80s in the forecast, especially down south places like Bedford, closer to Bloomington, as that temperature continues to trend upward. Now we're going to continue to see this warmth building in as we go through the week. Check this out. This warmer air is going to continue to push off to the north and to the east as this area of high pressure becomes that dominant weather feature for us. Not only is that going to bring in the warmth, it's also going to keep the clouds and the storms at bay from developing. So we're going to continue on with a stretch of quiet, dry weather well above average temperatures as well. This white line you see here that represents the average high at this point in the season, which is 72. We're going to be above that from start to finish through that extended forecast. So again, getting in the mindset of uh, taking those frequent breaks, making sure we're staying well hydrated, wearing that light loose clothing as we're going to be approaching some record warm temperatures both Wednesday and Thursday. I think that's a possibility. 85 on Friday with that next storm chance moving in with cooler temps by next weekend.